Hey everyone, Antonio here. And today we're gonna to be taking a little bit closer look at, this, at the switch glow I have here. I don't know if you guys saw my other switch glow video, but I I had mentioned um, I was gonna go a little bit more into detail and kind of show it mounted. Um, so what I've done here is pretty much have the switch glow, you know, the bare switch glow with the bare engine. Reason I didn't do this on one of my helicopters is because obviously you guys know um, these engines uh, sit in some pretty compact frames and um, you know for for you guys to get the picture and see how everything's hooked up it might be a little bit difficult so what I've done is grabbed an engine I had uh, laying around it's an OS 55 really doesn't matter um, same will apply for RC boats RC helicopters RC planes and RC cars uh, like I said this same thing uh, you know can be applied to all those um, so we have our engine we have our switch glow we have our receiver we have our radio and we have our power source I am using a 4 cell NICAD battery. Uh, the switch glow here can use anywhere from 4 volts to 9 volts I believe. So obviously if you guys are familiar with the high voltage servos that are being released and uh, um, you know obviously high voltage being 7.4 LiPo battery this can handle that. If you have a LiFi battery this can handle that. If you have a you know your standard uh, old school NICAD this can handle that. So it pretty much covers you know everything. It covers every base and one thing I like about the system is it's simple now one thing's having a simple system another thing's having a simple system and having it work great and the switch glow does both like I said I've been running switch glow on my nitro planes for years and I you know I've yet to have it fail um, you know it works every time also one thing I like about uh, the switch glow is when your glow plug is bad it will just emit once one beep for about a second and it'll shut off uh, so that quickly tells me uh, my glow plug is bad which saves me a lot of time not only saving me a lot of time but saves me from flooding the engine and possibly hydro locking it which can add you know a lot more problems in the future and probably have to replace the motor but anyways like I said I have the pretty simple setup here I have it plugged into my channel 6 uh, which I've uh, pre-mixed on this radio um, you know for you guys that have spectrum or you know all those other radios you can mix it into wherever you want uh, put it on a toggle switch, put it on, you know, whatever you do. Um, as well, with switch glow, you could, uh, for, especially for helicopter guys, you can mix it in with, with your throttle, uh, especially with your throttle hold. You can have it only come on when throttle holds on. Um, you know, sometimes you're doing an auto and, and you, you want the motor lit. Last thing you want is ha having to bail out and the motor shut off. Uh, so like I said, it's very programmable. Um, a lot of that has to do with the radio, though. Um, so what I'm going to do now is, I'm sure you guys are pretty bored of me talking here. What I'm going to do now is turn on my radio. I have nothing too fancy, standard uh, Futaba 8FG here. And we're going to plug in our power source. Okay, we got a green light on the receiver. And um, we got everything plugged in. One thing I did forget to mention is, um, from the switch glow to the motor, you have two wires. You have your ground wire which is here. The ground wire I typically like to grab onto the back plate. Um, it's just, you know, I've been doing it forever and I always do it. People also do it to the motor mount. Either or it will work as long as it's nice and tight. And as well up here we have an alligator clip. This alligator clip just simply or simply grabs onto your glow plug and you know you're pretty much good to go. And I remember when I first got switch glow I was a little bit worried about this uh, alligator clip and um, reason I'm saying I was worried is I just you know I would say will this thing actually hold on and trust me I've piled in helicopters and th this thing is still holding on um, so it's very simple to take off when you have to replace the glow plug but it's good to know that it stays on so like I said I have it plugged in here to my gear channel which I've pre-mixed to one of these switches up here and with the flick of a switch you're gonna hear a very annoying noise uh, let me Make sure this is actually plugged in right. Where I think there we go. Okay, there we go. So not only you do you get a really annoying noise, um, but as well, you get a light. I don't know if you guys saw that light that comes on there on the bottom. Let me uh, come on. Let me have it. All right, there we go. We get a light right there. Um, so. Pretty much, you know, it, it not only does it make a sound, but it as well, um, you know, you have an indication of light. 
Um, one thing I like with the switch flow is you can shut off, uh, you can actually shut off that loud annoying beep if you really want to. Um, I don't shut it off just because you know you can clearly hear it even when the motor is on. Um, it's very very easy to hear and as you guys just saw it's very simple and straightforward. Uh, you know it doesn't take you know you have to do this you have to do that you have to buy this optional thing no not at all it's a very simple system it's pretty much a plug-and-play system they offer a wide variety of do-it-yourself kits and um, push you can convert this to kind of like the push button they have um, but like I said it's a very you know useful system and works great I'm gonna be as well installing it I'm building a top flight uh, Cessna 310 which obviously has two uh, two engines so I'll be using this and uh, hopefully I can do a video showing you guys how that works and um, I'm also planning on doing a video for helicopter on my helicopter actually mounted and showing you guys really how easy it is to power up um, so yeah stay tuned for those guys I really hope you enjoyed this video as always thanks for watching